Oh, ¿Cómo le dijo? ¿Es un principio? ¿Se viene qué? Tromen, Lalo, tromen, Lalo. Tromen, ¿cuál es eso? ¡Hola, ve! ¡Yo ¿Qué rollo con el Pumayo, chicos? Bienvenidos a otro video de nuevo. Como pueden ver, ya tenemos la troca, la OG 2.0 de regreso. Yo sé que se mira igual, como si no la hubiéramos tumbado, pero la diferencia es que las partes que tiene la camioneta son partes QA1 de calidad. So now we're riding a lot smoother, a lot better. The truck, it really did not change its stance because I guess my, my cousin did have like a 4.7 drop, but the only thing is that my, my cousin, or not necessarily my cousin, but the shop at the time, wherever they took the truck to get dropped at, lo que pasó es que le, 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 le tomaron la, la troca un 4-7 más o menos, pero el drop que tenía era Mickey Mouse. So I think in the front, dice que they, I think the struts, I think they just flipped them or something like that. And then that's how they dropped the front, so it was really, really, really bad. And then my ball joints and all that stuff was bad, so we replaced all that. And then in the rear, um, same thing when I recorded in the previous videos, um, it was already dropped, I guess my boy said. I couldn't tell just because those parts were like really weird. But I guess the, the way they dropped this truck, as I mentioned in the other video as well, is las muellas, the leaf springs, le quitaron una para que bajara mala troca. So this truck was running on two leaf springs, so we did now is went ahead and found new leaf springs that had the three. Um, I think you could have just added the other one, but we just went ahead and, and found um, whole new leaf springs with the three. And then, yeah, we went ahead and installed that FIP kit. And then the only bad thing is we weren't able to install We weren't able to install these shackles just yet because if we drop it, they can se los ponemos, se los ponemos, but the truck is not notched. No le pusimos un, un, um, un C notch, un step notch. No le, no le hicimos nada de eso. We haven't touched the frame just because I'm really indecisive. I don't know if I want to do an underbed and then just leave it like that or if I want to go ahead and do a step notch to bag it later. So that's why. But as soon as I make up my mind, we will be slapping these on and then the truck will sit a lot lower in the back. And in the rear, I think I'm going to be uh, dropping it. I'm going to get in contact with QA1, see if they can go ahead and send me some other parts so we can just drop a little bit more. But guys, as of right now, this is the stance. Like I said, no cambia mucho, pero la neta, esta troca ahora sí maneja como si vamos. And what's a good example, Chulo? En unas nubes. No se siente, no se siente nada de, de hop, hopping ni nada. Y también estas llantas son temporales. They're temporary. Um, ando buscando unos rines, todavía no sé cuál comprar, so estos los, los tenía aquí en el garage, o sea, los puse para que se mire más o menos. Pero sí, se mira, cuando le metemos otros rines va, va a sentar un poco más. Pero um, vamos, a seguir a, vamos a seguir aquí con el video, vénganse para acá. Le quiero mandar saludos a esta compañía. Carpyride, Carpyride, algo así. You know, I suck at English and Spanish. So, miren, aquí me mandaron, it's, a, it's, like a, it's like a unit. Y este nomás es como, ¿cómo les diré? Es como una tipo tablet. Aquí va. This is going to be cool, you know, so instead of having like the Apple CarPlay or whatever, um, it has iPlay, a auto, AirPlay, all this beautiful stuff. Airplay. It's a HD display, IPS, touchscreen, Bluetooth, USB, voice controls, USB charging point. So this is really, really cool. Yeah, I've been seeing this a lot on, on, on the internet. And then they got in contact with me, actually, and they were like, hey, you know, no. look, here we are. Yeah, and then it comes with the, I believe this is a backup camera, waterproof night vision camera. Yes, sir. Except uh, I'm not really too good with wiring, so in this video we won't have that installed. Oh, but this, the mount? yeah, this is the mount, Suction right? Mount? Suction mount. Yeah. Is that how you say it? Mm. Oh, you know what, Chulo? What? This is for the window. Yeah, it goes on the window. So this is for the window. Yeah. We have another one. Yeah, we could put this for the window right here, mm -hmm. like that. Or it does come with. Oh, right there where I was showing you. In the middle. Yeah, in the middle. So this is pretty cool. Like I said, guys, when I was, uh, when I had my, my OG, the, la misma troca que era como esta, yo tenía yo mucho de estos, um, ¿cómo se dice? Siempre me hacían sponsor con cositas así. So esto sí, la verdad, sí me trae recuerdos muy buenos. This is the one that goes here, I believe, but I just gotta figure out how to, uh, how to mount it. How to mount it. We'll worry about it right now. We'll read the manual. And then it, it, this could be plowed just with the, with the cigarette thing. Simple. This is the C. C? Type C, and then this is a just aux cable, cool. And here's all the camera stuff. So we're not gonna install this. We're not gonna need this. It comes with your manual. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the camera and read this manual a little bit, and then we'll turn on the camera right now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, I think we got everything figured out. 
So I was planning on putting it right here, right in the middle, so it could be right here, but then, you know, I got Lalo and Chulo, y me están opinando los dos, que no se va a mirar muy bonito ahí. I was telling, okay, what if we put it right here? You know, right there, and then we just have it right here, and they said, oh, it's gonna look too, like, Mickey Mouse. So then from there, Chulo gives me the idea, you know what, how come we don't put it right here on the center console? And then I was like, oh, you know, we went ahead and test, tested it, and man, Chulo was 100% right. I think this is the, the most beautiful spot we could have put it. Not only that, but the guy who actually has my real OG now, se llama El Compa Chino, I think he's from up there from up north. He actually has an iPad right here, and I really like how it looks. And then I was like, you know what? This is not an iPad, but it gets the job, it gets the job done. It's literally the same thing like, an, like a freaking um, a iPad, man. This thing, I'm so in love with it. Thank you, Copyright, for sending me this nice, beautiful device, man. I really, really needed this. We already messed with it a little bit. I connected my phone. I, uh, I hit the Bluetooth transmitter. I connected it to to my uh, my double din so these two are connected whatever whatever my double din can't do i don't even think this one has a uh, apple carplay this does i have no words to describe this look get a little bit closer here let, let me hold it oh uh, like i said this is pretty much apple carplay this device comes with it all this one does not this one does not come as you guys can see no apple carplay no nothing pretty much just uh pandora the radio and bluetooth so check it out now i'm going to show you guys all the features that this thing could do for example, we go over here on the phone section, go to your recents, and you go to contacts. That's all your contacts right here. What the heck? It's one of my dad's customers, Dick Chan. But yeah, check it out. And then you go to the, the keypad, and then you could just you could call anybody with this device. You go to your voicemails. Yes, people call me from Florida, from all over the place, Kansas. Um, and then we go over here, and then we have our, uh, this is the main, the main home from the device, which is cool. And like I said, this is paired up with my phone. So let me show you guys. It is 12.35 right now, so it does tell me 12.35. Then I can put the volume up here. This thing also is a speaker, so I turn off the car, this is a speaker too, so I could just go ahead and, and turn it up or down, put the brightness up or down, whatever you guys want to mess with. And then um, it does have a, you can plug in a USB, you can connect the Bluetooth, this is what I told you guys. This is how my, how my, uh, my double den, and this is connected to the Bluetooth trans transmitter. And then it has more settings, you know, you can mess with the other languages. Even right hand drive, that's badass. Unfortunately here in uh, the United States, we can't really, can't really do that. And then, but this is all I'm going to be using it for, to be honest. Real quick, let's go back. If you guys have uh, Android, I know a lot of you guys have Android, which is really, really, weird now but this is android except i don't have android I don't, i'll never have um, android but yeah so this is what i'm going to be using um you go on music and then let's go ahead and put it like on de la sierra these are my jams with my pops corrido del ocho and then it should play you know what i have to go ahead and turn off the the, the reason why it's not playing you have to go over here and turn off the speaker See, so this is a speaker. This is the actual system speaker. So this is cool if you don't want to let your your battery die or something, you're just chilling. So now it is connected to my double din, and now we should just play this. Let's go back, music, and we're gonna be playing some Alcón de la Sierra because you guys know this is how we bump. El Cartel de las Calles. <laughs> a little bit because we don't want to get copyrighted so you guys see that that works and you could uh, I believe you could type the song here or you could ask connect Siri I don't really use Siri but I'm gonna start this is my library so that's cool that's the music um, you have your calendar right here got nothing to do today just in case if you forget your kids pick up your kids at school <laughs> um, they got maps go ahead and type Las Vegas And now, guys, we're headed to Las Vegas. And the message went ahead and tried it off camera. And you just got to talk to it. I just don't want you guys to see my messages. But you can just talk to it through Siri. And then I have the Chevron app on my phone. So I guess it works here. It tells you what, what uh, Chevron you want to go to. Pandora. I um, mean, also WhatsApp works on here. So these are a little bit of the features, guys. There's still a lot more we can mess with. But I think you guys get the hang of it. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the links down below in the description. You guys want to go ahead and get yourself one of these badass devices. And they are affordable. To be honest, that's why I have one. And then right now I still have my 
my, my protector, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it on because I don't want to mess it up. And also, it's just powered just by the cigarette thing. I'm pretty sure with the other cables, once we plug them in, we could just run it direct. So as soon as I turn on my truck, I could turn this direct. You know, and then this is what it looks like from the start. So you guys, could you guys can see. Um, and then we are going to be installing the night vision in the camera. I don't know if it's the front camera or the rear camera. I'm going to look into it. And then hopefully in the next couple of vlogs, I'll we'll get and show you guys that. But yeah, as soon as you plug it in, you guys just saw that works. And then the cable just goes plugged in right here, right behind this. So let me know what you guys think. What do you think, Chulo? We're going to have a lot of fun with this thing, man, right? Watch TV. Let's go ahead and look. This badass center console. That has subs. We have TV right here. We have the, the double den. Send him a shout out, viejo. Do you know how to say that word? Car, what is it called? Car parade. Car, car parade. There you go. Thank you guys for sending me this badass device once again. I'm going to be leaving the link down below. I'm going to see if I can get you guys a promo code. If I can, I'll go ahead and leave it down below. Make sure you guys cop one, man. These things are badass. And then look at And then this, it was just all like double sided tape. So, this is pretty sturdy. So. It's beautiful. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys the suspension work. So let me show you guys the suspension down here. You guys can see everything looks nice and beautiful. So we did get an upper control arm. That is not QA1, but I'm going to get in contact with them see if they can go ahead and send me the lower arm because my upper one was bad. So I went ahead and, uh, and put a brand new upper control arm. And then you guys can see my spindles that QA1 sent me. And then um, new bushings, new ball joints down there and everything. And then look at the coils, guys. And then they are adjustable. They have two adjustments. My boy explained what they were to me, but I already forgot. He left it on me at some badass, at some badass settings, so I'm not even going to mess with it. But yeah, man, look at the suspension work. Beautiful. And that is the front side. And then right here, the rear. Let me show you guys the rear. This is the rear right here. Uh, so check it out. These, let's start off with the shackles. My boy just went ahead and threw on these shackles because like I said, we throw on the ones that QA1 sent me right now. The truck will sit way lower and we can't do it right now because we'll be hitting. So we have these little temporary ones. I don't know where he got them at. They'll get the job done. But like I said, once I notch this truck, I will be throwing on the QA1 shackles because those are higher, uh, higher quality. And then right here, the exhaust doesn't really let me record too much but look now we have three leaf springs okay so we found a brand new set and then we have our flip kit right there from qa1 as well so this truck is running a1 like i said we are going to be chopping up the exhaust and adding a new one because look at that freaking hole i just noticed that okay guys so now that we got this truck out of the way we are going to continue this vlog by taking finally my og my first truck ever since 2015 to the shop so they can finally finish this i know i've been telling you guys I've been wanting to finish this because this makes the truck look super, super ugly. So we're going to be dropping it to the original guys who painted this truck, Gutierrez Auto Works. Um, and they are going to be painting the tubs, doghouse, the same color as the truck. And then the rest of it, they are going to be painting um, a, a, a second color. And I won't be telling you guys the color just yet because I want it to be a surprise. And no, it's not going to be black. So it's something else. It's going to look pretty badass. Remember, always trust the process. Guys, honestly, I think once we get that out of the way, I think this truck is pretty much going to look like a nice, beautiful show truck from the outside. Besides, it's nice wheels, you know, because I still need to put it on some, some intros. Truck has a nice front end. It doesn't need no body work. It's, it's put together very nicely. It's just people look here like, what the hell? This truck looks really nice from the, from the outside, nicely painted. And then in here, it's just like, what the hell's going on? You know, you have a whole bunch of rust. Pero aquí le vamos a estar pintando de dos colores. Vamos a pintarle las tubs y el doghouse del mismo color de la camioneta. Y le vamos a estar echando el bellino de otro color. Nomás que no les voy a decir el color, es una sorpresa. So no hay que hablar mucho, vámonos para el taller, hay que dejar esta camioneta, hay que decirle a mi compa a ver cuánto va a tardar más o menos. No hay prisa, o lo que él diga está bien. Y en los, en los, en los próximos videos van a ver ustedes que, que pues, a ver cómo queda la camioneta. So vámonos hasta ahorita, hasta Fullerton, porque ya se nos está el taller. Let's go. So yo mi compa Lalo llegó un poco tarde y Lalo lo quiere regañar. Chulo. ¿Cómo dije? Chulo. <risa> Venga acá, pinche viejo pendejo. <risa> Oye viejo, una pregunta al chile, así hablando al chile. Viene el puto burro, ¿qué compa? ¿Por qué llegas con dona? Te rompen los chicos, güey. Ya llevo como tres medias cerrando, pendejo. ¿Ya vienen qué? Ya, yo... Si tú lo trajeras, ni llegarías aquí. ¿Qué? 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 
Oh. Pelo, <ríe> ¿Cómo le dijo? ¿Es un principio? ¿Si viene qué? Vive si viene, burro, por favor. So I compared a lot of driving the whip. Um, we got here a little bit, like 15 minutes early, so we're just waiting on him. So, I can take a lot of the truck. Man, this thing looks like, so clean right now that Lalo pulled up in it. I was like, damn. You know that saying when they say, like, la neta, la troca ya me aburrió. And it's just like, you know, when, when, como cuando las cosas son tuyas, te aburren. Y cuando, so, and other people wish it had it. Yeah. So, like, I think that's what's happening. Yeah, because it's not like that. Yeah, it's not like that. So, look at the stance of this thing, man. This thing is beautiful. And I want to be showing you guys one more time what it looks like right now. Yeah, it's like that. Look at 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 See, and it's been getting bad. The rusting's been getting a little bit worse because it's been uh, raining like two more days here in Cali. But also check out the tidal window, man. This tidal window looks amazing. I love it. Up next, we just need that second sunroof and this thing's a wrap. This thing has a, such a perfect stance. I don't think I would lower it. Not a single inch in the front or the back. I think this thing is just, just right. All right, compachulo. It's perfect, right? But yeah, this is a... Uh, this is what it looks like right now. And the only thing that we are, it doesn't really need too much uh, like work or whatever, they're just gonna sand it. But right here, it is um, como que the previous owner, como que I don't know, I think it was cracked or something, they tried to weld it. So this is just gonna get shaved down, so it can look flush, and then that's about it. Other than that, just a little minor uh, sanding, and that's it. So una más vez, esto lo vamos a estar pintando el mismo color de la camioneta, y el B-liner. Va a ser otro color, nomás que no les voy a decir, va a ser una sorpresa para que miren. Pero dice mi compa que si todo va bien, me la tiene para mañana o por más tardar en dos días. So. Para el otro video que ustedes miren, va a estar listo eso. Si estén pendientes, ustedes les voy a enseñar un poquito del trabajo que está haciendo allá adentro. Promender, Lalo, Promender, Lalo. Promender, ¿cuál es eso? ¡Alo, ve! ¡Yo soy la bestia! ¡Ja, Dé, lo malo levantó con una mano, la aventó el viejo. Ahí parecía como el chavo del ocho. So check it out, guys. This is one of the trucks he just painted. Man, this setup looks badass. Look at the, those are the welds. I just can't really uh, show you guys too much because of the copyright, or I might just put some, some non-copyright music over this. Aquí tienen una, una carcachita, como dice Selena. This looks kind of like, like the color that I have in my truck right now, but this is the OEM color, he said. My boy MP Fabrication will like this whip. It's cool, it looks like a candy, but it's OEM. So aquí también tienen otra camioneta, como la que tenía yo, la, la que rifé, la 2020. No sé qué año será esta, pero dice que también esta troca también era long bed para el trabajo. Y le iba a hacer mi compa Vázquez, nomás que dice que la llevaron allá en México y le cobraron más barato, pero pues dice que quedó bien la camioneta, fíjense. Esta se va a estar pintando, de, se va a quedar de blanca, no sé por qué, pero pues ya, yeah. pero man. Y aquí ya, también la frente, es todo como la tenía yo, el High Country, nomás que me gusta el interior, porque miren, también es del High Country y es como el cafecito. Tienen aquí las shims, los asientos. My country. No sé si son originales, yo creo que sí, pero todo el tablero y todo. Qué chingona, esta, esta va, va a quedar chingona. I can already picture this in my head. I would do a full color change if it's already getting painted, but I mean, to each their own. But yeah, this one got chopped up in Mexico. And it looks good.